I decided to do a different kind of video instead of a vlog today. So, the video that you're going about to see contains the start of my 2015 to 2016 fireworks stash. So I started this mid-August, or late August, or late August, early September, okay? That's when I started it. So I want to show you what I picked up. Now, a little bit about me, where I live at, we have a very, very high, high, high restrictions on fireworks. So that means we can only shoot ground, which include fountains and you can you can shoot aerials, but they can't go more than 10 feet. So that includes, and it depends on where you're at in the state, you can't shoot bottle rockets, which kind of sucks. So I think that's terrible, just let me know down in the comments. So every year, or I have started to make a firework show. I'll link a video to my this past 4th of July vlog that is from my friend Brandon who vlogged our 300 and some odd founds we had, but he didn't get all of them. So I wanted to show, I also wanted to let you guys know that the, that this firework stash start, most of this was gotten in Springfield, Missouri at a store called Fireworks, Fireworks Superstore or something like that. Yeah, Superstore. Reasonable prices, very nice, clean, indoor place. I didn't, I didn't get to vlog while I was there in the trip because of, uh, yeah, so. <sighs> I forgot the camera, guys, that's why. So, I'm going to show you what, you got, what I got, so bear with me here. Alright, guys, so this is called, these, these are the tube fountains, which is called the Duck Eliminator, which it has the picture of Jace. This is from the new line of Duck Commander that is out. It says, caution, eliminate showers of sparks. Careful reading and other stuff. And here's what the performance is. Caution, illuminates showers of sparks. And there's the description up there. I like this kind of a description better than having it in like one of these. So and it's this has got some weight to it. So I can't wait to shoot this one off. This is also one of the new Duck Commander things. It's called Mama's Favorite. And there's the description for it. I like it. I like I said, I like it better than that. So, and the last one that is a stick, and all these have some weight to them. I don't know why they have so much weight to them. This is called Lava Lamp. It's a very, very clean. I've seen a, um, a demo video already, so that's pretty cool. So, those are the stick ones. So, we have the Duck Eliminator, Mama's Favorite, and the Lava Lamp. Now moving on to these oddly shaped fountains that look like uh, 200 gram kegs. Uh, this is called Havana Heat. This one was recommended to me and here's the caution symbols and stuff. Here's the description of it. Actually no, here's the description. Sorry. There's the description. And this has a little bit of weight to it, not a whole much, but it is pretty heavy and apparently it goes 5 feet off the ground. So I want to see this bad boy. Then we have Painted Desert. And I think the description is in here. Yeah, here's the description. No, it actually doesn't have a description. And then I got Hollywood Night. This says warning on it. It doesn't say caution like this. See, this says caution. This says warning. <laughs> so I'm anxious to see what this does. Um, it's not that heavy. It doesn't have that much to it. And then this one is called uh, Rocky Mountain High. I thought I'd get it because of where I live at. There's a lot of mountains. And there's the description. And that is a pretty big sucker. <laughs> now we're on to the 500 gram cakes. This are 500 grams of fountains. So this is called Mystic Rain. And it says warning illuminate showers of sparks. So this has a warning label on it. It's 500 grams as you can see here. And this is the full description here. This is the description of Mystic Rain. It says this uh, this red, white, and blue 500 gram fountain. So that's pretty cool. It's red, white, and blue. There's a warning. And we have this big, big bad boy here. It's called Solar Storm. This thing weighs a lot. It's 500 grams. And I got these all for reasonable prices. The description on this is pretty cool. Now I spent so much at the stores, both trips that I went to them. So I got this free 
little fountains and they say warning on them so these are all fountains I have no idea what they say these do but they're called cool that's what that cool you gotta say it right let me zoom in, zoom in on that cool you gotta say it right and with a warning label also got this I got five dollars off on this one because I spent so much so I only had to pay two dollars towards it so this says mad monkey and I have no idea what this thing does but it's pretty big and it's heavy these are heavy fireworks so that's the whole fireworks video that's my start of my fireworks stash now yes I'm going to buy like I did in my last video because that's where or in the video that's down in the description sorry I got a lot of assortments last year for the 4th of July I got a lot I think what was it four different assortments from Walmart so I have kind of the same 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 fireworks so try not to go for that this year I'm going to tr my goal is to get more 500 grams fountains and so when like New Year's rolls around I'll go get some like maybe two or three more 500 grams I'll buy maybe two assortments then from Black Cat so I'd like more black cat fi fountains or fireworks. So that's what I want. I want more fountains. So, if, so anybody who is a fount or Fourth of July freak, hit me up and let me know what black cat has as fountains. If you guys know, see, have seen any videos on assortment unboxings that includes fountains, not aerials, but fountains. Please, please send that in a comment with a link to the channel or the video or something like that. So, also, what I'm trying to do is, I want to get, I've got, I'm actually going to plan a trip over to Moriarty, New Mexico. They have a black cat store there. So I'm going to try to pick up some loose fountains that look kind of like similar to how lava lamp looks. See this? How this looks? There's one's called a 100 foot fountain. And what this thing does, I don't know if it is a warning label or if it's got a caution label on it, but... This thing burns like a regular fountain, like you guys a typical see a typical fountain. And then when this thing gets to a certain point, it pops off like a mine. And then it burns again like a normal fountain, and then it pops off like another mine. And then when it burns again, and then once it gets to the end, it pops off like a mine and goes into a crackle. So I'm going to try to pick up three of those for you guys for the next year. But yeah, that's the start of my 4th of, 4th of July 2016 stash. Also going to get some TNT assortments maybe one one big one for next year but most of it's gonna be bought from the tents this next year I don't know I don't know if that's the logical thing to do so Pyro Nation if you can please let me know if I should buy from tents like TNT tents or if I should buy from a fireworks store tell me what's economically right or if I just should just stick to the assortments so with that I'm gonna let you guys go Pyro Nation, please answer that question for me in the comments. I need to know. And if you know anything, bro, let me know about Black Cat. If they're good, that's a good line. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. I'll talk to you guys later.